Looking at how AJ's mindset seems to be, he wants to improve all the time, every aspect, and he's very mentally strong in that and adamant in that. Off, off training, he's still training himself because he wants to improve. And so an element of the, the shift in, in style might be because he's wanted to add more boxing to his game because he knows for longevity in the game. You can't just, you know, like he did with Klitschko and, and, and the fights before that, you can't just go forward. But sometimes with AJ, he's, he's, he's damned either way because when he fought um, Andy Ruiz the first time, he was gung-ho, saw him hurt, wants to step in and, and go for the kill, so to speak, and he walked straight onto a shot and then everyone's saying, oh, I should have been smarter. And then when he's being smart and he's being cagey against Usyk, then, you know, he should have I guess forward. they're the levels so, you, you rate the great champions, but yes, you almost yeah. need 12 rounds of, of perfection, don't you, if you're going to be seen as, as one of the real... Yeah, I mean, so it's, you, you're never going to please everybody. You've got to do what you believe is best for yourself. But sometimes that can, you know, that's something where, where you got it wrong. Sometimes you get an opportunity to, to put that right, and sometimes you don't. Now, he, AJ is in, in a fortunate position where he can put that right. If he gets everything right on, on Saturday night and goes in there with a the perfect plan, and I think he's got to box the best of his, that we've ever seen him. He can't just go forward like we saw in the Dillian White and the Klitsch Coast fights because he leaves too many gaps where people have fought Usyk before and thought all they have to do is put pressure on him. That's his style. That's what he's been used to all the way through coming through the amateurs and everything. He's built as a counterpuncher with, with people rushing him. So it, there has to be the element of thought. And that's why we'll, the work with Garcia is, is so important that that has been nailed down because that's another little dimension. Added to the stuff that he's learnt with Robert McCracken and, and Angel Fernandez and everybody else, that also into the pot has got to blend. Everything's got to blend and he's got to get it right on Saturday night. We've heard a lot about what Usyk has been doing training-wise, whether it's been swimming for four hours or whatever it is, five hours, cycling 100 kilometres in 45 degree heat, but, but also what he's been doing since the last fight with Joshua is fighting for his country, which says a huge amount about the guy, but we know that Joshua's done a bit of soul searching, but for Usyk, there must have been so much to process over the last few months. It's, it's immense, and I think this, this is another thing with this fight, why this is a unique fight, because I can't think of any, any World Heavyweight Championship fight at the pinnacle of the sport where you've had a champion going into the ring coming off the back of what Usyk's had, you know? And, and we, being honest, we won't know what, what emotions he has on, on, until fight night, because if a fighter fights with emotion, that can cloud the decision making. And if you make the wrong decisions in, in boxing, especially when you're with somebody that, that can punch like Anthony Joshua, no matter if he's, if he's getting beat, if he's getting outboxed, he has that power that if he lands it at the right time on the right spot, and if you switch off and allow him to have the opportunity, it can turn your lights out. And that's what make, makes this sport so fascinating. Just quickly then, how does it end? I genuinely don't know. I genuinely, <laughs> the, the, more, the more that I'm watching this, the first fight, the more I'm watching it, I'm studying it, the more I'm believing that AJ can do this. Because originally, I thought this was just straightforward and a new sick win. But now I, I, I'm, I'm swaying, I'm swaying. All right, great to speak to you. Thank you so much for being with us. Cheers.